Hello, people. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Jocelyn. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Ingrid, Victoria, um, uh, I don't know if it's only me, but I can hardly hear you. Uh -huh, the volume is very low. I can hear the phone. Ah, now it's better. I see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, people. It's um good evening, everyone. Welcome to your class. This is the class number thirteen. Yes, yes, class. It's almost done, right? This is the last week. Could you finish all the exercises in the platform? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Congratulations. Thank yeah, you. that's great. Okay, so let me show you the class. The class, the topic of the class today is the same as last Friday. Given a message with tell and ask. So we're going to continue practicing this topic because I think it's important to understand, right? So we have the objective. By the end of the session, you will be able to take and give a message using tell and ask. You will have more exercises, written and listening. So we have activity one, recording previous knowledge. Activity two, ask and tell, giving a message. Activity three, let's practice. Activity four, wrap. So to start with the class, I need to change the attendance. So please turn on your camera and say present. Ana Marisol Zamora Castillo. Ana Patricia Garcia de Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana. Benjamin Alejandro Quijada. Brenda Adriana Méndez. Present. Thank you, Brenda. Brenda Isabel Castro. Present teacher. Thank you, Brenda. Brian Steve Roda. Present. Thank you. Claudia Isel López Córdoba. Claudia Isel. Daniela Magali Asensio. Edgar Fernando Portillo. Elisa Arely López. Present, Miss. Thank you, Elisa. Elsie Patricia de Jesús Martínez de Sánchez. Francisco Villafuerte. Present, teacher. Y Francisco Griselda Moreno. Present, teacher. Thank you, Gris. Jacqueline Liliana Enriquez Cruz. Present me. Thank you. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Janet Carolina. Jocelyn Natalia Mancilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Xiomara Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Karina, Yasmin, Nuila. Mm, Carla Melissa Colocho. I'm here. Leslie Natalie Orellana. Present. Leslie. Lucía Elena Cepeda de Herrera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Margarita Abigail Tobías. Present, teacher. Margarita Martín Ernesto Estrada Lara Miley Ok Martín Miley Jamilet Present Miss Miley. Miley Michelle Beatriz Díaz Guzmán Hello teacher present Thank you Roberto Carlos Cuellar Present teacher. Thank you, Roberto. 
Roberto Eduardo Escamilla García. Roberto Eduardo. Selma Peña. Thank you. Victoria Leal de Contreras. Um, okay, thank you. Did I mention everyone? Is there someone I didn't mention? Okay, thank you so much for connecting on time and for joining the class. So in the, in the activity number one, we have this activity in which you have to help me to classify the words into the correct category. Okay, we have the words here and we have to see if the verb is, sorry, if the word is a verb, is a noun, or it's an adjective. So you will tell me what the word is. For example, the word run. Verb. Okay, Verbs. nice. So I will write here, run. And box. No. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need to do something. So, box is a noun. And rep? Adjective. Adjective. Exactly. It's a color. A thing. Bear. It's a verb. It's an action. Chicken. No. no. It's a noun. Very nice. A right. Bear. Adjective. Right. An action. Bear. It's a verb. Okay. Happy. Bear. Bear. No, happy. Adjective. Adjective. Exactly. All. Adjective. Three. No. 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 Sad. Adjective. Adjective. Okay. The next word is mouth. No. 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 It's a noun. Mm. Uh, fly. Bear. 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 Fly. Okay. You. You silly. Adjective. 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 No. No. Noun. It's an object, right? Pencil. No. 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 Push. Bear. 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 No. No. It's a noun. A lost. Mm. Bear. 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 Adjective. It's an adjective. Uh, the verb is loose. Mm -hmm. And bear. It's a verb. Stand by me. Okay. Ball. No. 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 Tall. Adjective. Adjective. Uh -huh. And a smile. Bear. Bear. It's a bird. Mm. 
So what is the difference between a noun, a verb, and an adjective? Verbs are the action. Verbs are actions, exactly. Brown, right, fly, laugh. <laughs> okay, push, stand, and smile. The action. And now? Box, chicken. Object, object. Exactly. Nouns are things, people, people or things or animals, right? Mm -hmm. And they make the action. They make the action. They are the doer of the action, right? For example, we can say the chicken runs, right? The car uh, is red. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the adjectives, what are adjectives? To describe something. Exactly, words to describe nouns. And they are characteristics, like colors, feeling, state, etc. Very nice. But I can see you can identify. You can identify and classify the words. And that is great. Okay, in the next slide, well, I have another exercise I'm going to share with you. Sorry, I'm sharing. <laughs> okay, now you will see Again, we have adjective, noun, and verb. You will tell me, for example, the first word is fat. Adjective. An adjective. Okay. Hmm. That's very good. Fat. Okay. The next one is run. Run there. There. Student? Now. Now. Oh, big fear. Run is a verb. The student is a noun. Patrick? Now. 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 Yeah, it's a person. Sad. Adjective. Teacher. Now. 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 Texas. Now. Laugh. Bear. 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 Green. Adjective. Adjective. So adjectives, we have fat, sad, green, yellow, and tall. Nouns, a student, Patrick, teacher, Texas, dog. And verb, we have run, jump, laugh, cry, and sleep. Excellent. Okay, can we combine um, these words to make sentences? Can you make some sentences using these words? Example. Example with that words. You can use these words to make sentences. Uh -huh. For example, you can say this. Student jumps high, right? 
the, the teacher is tall. Okay, the teacher is tall. The dog is sleeping on the carpet. Fat. <laughs> ah, okay, the fat dog. The fat dog is sleeping on the yellow carpet. We are using the words, right? Mm -hmm. What can you say about Texas? Patrick lives in Texas. Oh, very nice. Patrick lives in Texas. Okay, what about using the verb laugh? Hmm? We can use another one. The teacher cries because she is sad. Right? <laughs> the teacher laughs when she is happy. <laughs> okay, so you can see here the different ways in which we use the words. The noun is the subject. The verb, we have the verb is the action. And we can use the adjectives to describe uh, the noun, right? Okay, thank you for your participation. Now we're going to continue with the class presentation. And we have in the next slide, Okay, so in the previous class, we were learning that when we use tell, we use the object and then we use the word that. And there was an exercise in the platform uh, using these words, right? Let me see if I can find it in the exercise. Okay, for example, it says the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Please tell Ken that the test is on Thursday. Meet me after class today. We ask Alex. Ah, if I use ask. I use ask the object that could be a name of a person or an object pronoun like her, him, or them. And then we use the infinitive to plus the verb. Meet me after class today. Would you ask Alex to meet me after class? To meet me. And the other exercise, there's a volleyball game tonight. Could you tell? Marcus, that there's a volleyball game tonight. Come to the picnic on Saturday, please. Ask Paula to come to the picnic. So after ask, we use to. And we tell, we use that. Okay. Let's see the exercise. Tell or ask. Could you ask? Okay, could you ask Anna to call Elsa? So over here is ask. Number two, please. Tell. Tell. Ask. Uh, ask. <coughs> Ryan Arico. So if we have two, we use ask. Yes. Would tell. you? Tell. Um, okay, would you tell uh, her? Aquí podría ir el that. 
o puede omitirse. Okay? Would you tell her I thought the dinner was asleep was delicious? Would you tell her that I thought the dinner was was delicious? Okay, would you yes tell. No? No. teacher and the number two because it's uh asked in the tell in um in the structure is the as plus person plus two plus the set the request is the yes. Uh, it's correct, Francisco. Okay, number four. Would you tell? Exactly. Would you tell? Mm -hmm. Would you tell your friend that the picnic is going to be tomorrow? Number five. Please tell tell, tell. tell the teacher. Tell. Please tell the teacher I don't understand the question. <laughs> okay, number six. Would you ask? Ask. Uh -huh. yes. Would you ask my mom to let me go to the concert, please? Ask my mom to let me go to the concert with you. <laughs> number seven. Please tell. 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 Tell, tell. tell the tell. neighbors. We are oh. having a meeting on Thursday. Okay, number eight, please tell, tell him. Tell. tell him that. Please tell him oh. that. Tenemos tell him the object pronoun that. ¿Y cuál es el mensaje? I want to travel soon. Okay. Please tell him that I want to travel soon. Okay. So far so good? Yes. Yes, teacher. So far, yes. So good. That's great. Okay. Let's look at the next exercise. We have to unscramble in the words to make the sentence in the correct order. Could you tell them? Tell them. Mm -hmm. Could you tell them we don't have a space? Okay. Number two. Please. Please ask. Please ask your grandmother. Your grandmother. Your grandmother two. To bake for us. To bake cookies. No, to to bake cookies for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, not to bake us. <laughs> to bake cookies for us. Okay, please ask your grandmother to bake cookies for us. Number three. Okay. Would, you, would, would you ask? Would you ask? Would you ask? Would you ask? To call me. No, to would you ask? To. to, to Jim? Would you ask Jim? Jim. To. To call me. To call me. To call but me. we not have to not. not. To not call me. Okay, would you ask Jim to not call me? Not call me. <laughs> okay, please tell him or ask him not to call me. Okay, number four. Please. Please. please, please ask Alexa. Please ask Alexa, Alexa. to bring the apple pie to the picnic. Uh, apple pie to the picnic. To bring. 
Please ask Francisco to bring the Coca-Cola, okay, for the party. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Please yes. ask Michelle to bring the curtido for the pupusas. <laughs> okay, number five. Could you, Could, tell, you? Could you tell Brenda? Could you tell Brenda the action? The action is on Saturday. On Saturday. Very nice. Excellent. Congratulations. Okay. So I can see you got it, guys. You can use cell in us. Perfectly. So congratulations. Good. What else do we have for today? Oh, we have a listening part, a listening activity in which you are going to, oh, sorry, I think I have another exercise for you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So over here we have this, but there is an exercise that we are going to do before the listening. Hello, Benjamin, now you're here in the class. <laughs> okay, in this exercise, guys. Oh, it's not this one. Give me a moment, guys. Let's see. This is the exercise. Okay. Um, would you prefer to do it all together, or should I send you the link and do it? by your own, what do you prefer? Okay, we have here, it's the same together. <laughs> okay, over here we have message to Maria. I have a headache. So could you tell Maria that I have a headache? Now, the message to Jorge is read the newspaper. So we start with would you would you tell, tell Jorge, Jorge to read mm -hmm. would you tell Jorge to read the newspaper? Tell, tell or ask? Tell. Okay, mm -hmm. in the first one, it's a message, mm -hmm. right? The message is, I have a headache. But the message here is a request. We have a verb, read the newspaper. So would you? Ask. Would you ask? Would you Jorge, ask? Would you ask, would you ask Jorge? To read the newspaper. Exactly. Would you ask Jorge to read the newspaper? To read the newspaper? It's a request. Está pidiendo que lea el periódico. Okay, next exercise. Message to Juanita. Bring me the red dress. Please. Please tell. Please tell. Ask. Tell Juanita. Please ask. Ask. <laughs> please ask Juanita. To, to bring to bring me the bring red dress exactly the red dress the red dress mm -hmm. please ask Juanita to bring me the red dress and we use a period in this case no it's not a question it's just a message giving a message please ask Juanita to bring me the red dress message to Kimberly my favorite food is pizza. Good tell. Good tell. Tell. Good tell. Tell. Kimberly. Kimberly. Tell Kimberly. My favorite food is pizza. Would you tell Kimberly my favorite food? Tell my favorite food is pizza. My favorite food is pizza. Exactly. And in this case, because we start with wood, which is, which is an auxiliary, we have to use a question mark at the end. 
Would you tell Kimberly that my favorite food is pizza? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's review. Uh, Francisco? Yes, teacher. And the number four, uh, I don't understand. Is a question or not a question? No, because it's not a question. Not a question. No, because it's just, it's a request. It's like asking a favor. But it's not a question because it's not, we're not using an auxiliary at the beginning. When we start with an auxiliary, for example, could or would or can, hey. would you tell, can you tell, could you tell? So that is a question. Uh, but in okay. this case, well, it's a start, it starts with please. Please. Sí, porque la estructura se parece que va as to para la estructura de pregunta. Cuando empezamos con el auxiliar es pregunta, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Thank you. No problem. Number six. Again, we have more exercise. Message to a female. Return my phone call. Please ask. Ask. Uh -huh. Please ask to return my phone call. So we are missing the object. It's a female, so we use the her. her. Please ask her. To return my phone. Okay. My phone call. Exactly. Please ask her to return my phone call. Now, this message is to a male, a man, a boy. Don't tell my secret. And we start with good. Could you tell him to tell, tell my secret? Could you tell him? But don't tell me. Uh, Ask or tell. Ask or tell. 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 Well, here we have an action, we have a verb, but in negative. Mm -hmm. Like here, we have a verb, but it's in affirmative. And in this case, it's negative. So could you... Could you not tell? Don't. Oh, I forgot it, you. Could you... Ask him... Him. Could you ask him? Mm -hmm. Don't. Could you ask him not? Not to. Not to. Not to tell. Don't tell my secret. Don't tell, tell my secret. My secret. Secret. Could you ask him not to tell my secret, please? It's my secret. <laughs> Could you ask? <laughs> Not okay. my secret. Yes. Okay, so that's it. Let's review. Could you tell Maria that I have a headache? Mm -hmm. Would you ask Jorge to read the newspaper? Please ask Juanita to bring me the red dress. Would you tell Kimberly that my favorite food is pizza? Please ask her to return my phone call. Could you ask him not to tell my secret? Great. Now guys, we are going to practice. We are going to practice uh, via chat here via Zoom. You will use the chat and you will type some requests in messages, okay? So we can send messages here. You can send a message to Miley, to Karen, to Ana, to Roberta, to 
to Chelle, to Benjamin, to Elsie, etc. Okay. You can say, for example, please tell Roberto that I have fever. Uh -huh. Another one could be, do you ask Benjamin to turn on his camera? Just an example. Okay, another example. Please ask Victoria. Uh, please ask Victoria to participate in the class. Just kidding, right? Okay, we had our first participation. Victoria says, please tell you. And that I, okay. So I guess Victoria, you wanted to say uh, that you are happy. Victoria? Hola, <laughs> hello. Maybe please tell uh, Rocio that I am happy. That I am, I am happy. I am happy. Okay, thank you. Okay, Margarita, please tell us that today, that today, uh, the party is, that today the party is in my house. Okay. <laughs> Only Lucia and we are not invited. Okay. Please tell Margarita, no, ask Margarita to invite all of us to the party. Right. Of course. <laughs> okay, could you ask Fernanda to come? Okay, Francisco, to come to the party. Could you ask Rocio to go to the beach? <laughs> okay. Could you ask Fernanda, please, Lucia? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. More example? Please, I'm gonna have it. Please ask Elsie to turn off her microphone. Could you ask the teacher? Uh, could you ask teacher to how was the dinner with your friends? Could you ask the teacher? <clears throat> teacher, where can I uh, actually write the message? What is your message? Uh, mm, let me think. Where can I type the question in here? Please tell Lucia that today the party is in my house. That one? Um, Elsie or Margarita, I was asking. No, because I'm trying to type the question in the chat, but I don't know where is the chat. Oh, sorry, I didn't understand. Well, can you see all our messages? Yes. Uh, okay. So it, there is an option that says, Type the message here. Oh, I think I got it. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Could you tell Miley that the class finishes at 9 p.m., Michelle? Could you tell Miley that the class is finished at 9 p.m. or the class finishes at 9 p.m.? Could you ask the okay, teacher to tell us? How the dinner with her was? The dinner with the Mexican food. It was delicious. Please tell your son to meet me at the mall. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, please ask your mother if she lends me the car. Please ask Francisco where my book is. Would you ask my mom where my phone is? Please tell the teacher that I like her class. Oh, that's so sweet. Could you ask Roberto what is the work special? Can you tell him that my doing? I don't understand that one. Maybe that I am doing it. <laughs> Another card, please ask Margarita if I can go to the party. If I can come to her party. <laughs> okay. Ah, it's in Spanish, Jocelyn. Sí, pensé en español, pero ya lo hago en inglés, teacher. <laughs> Okay, Jocelyn. Uh -huh. Don't use the Google Translate. Please ask Francisco where my book is. Yes, and where? W-H-E-R-E. -E. Please ask Selma to call me tomorrow. Could you ask Anna to come and eat? Okay. Could you tell Leslie don't sleep in the class? <laughs> okay, recuerden que si van a pedirle una acción es ask. Y si solo van a mandar a decir un mensaje, tío. Por ejemplo, a de Roberto Eduardo sería, could you? Teacher. Uh -huh. Could you ask Leslie not to sleep during the class? Ok. Yes, Michelle. Um, I can hear you repeat, please. Uh, okay, which one, Michelle? Your message? No, ese cuando comenzó a explicarlo de as y tell. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, I was telling you that. Remember, if you if you ask something um, in action, for example, to come to meet me, uh, not to sleep, uh, to cook, to send me, to call me, you will use ask. Okay. And tell is just another message. Okay, teacher, thank you so much. Could you ask Selmita to come visit me? Oh, could you tell Miriam that I like it? Okay. <laughs> okay. Please tell Brenda that I stay in the supermarket. This is a good example, Anna. Anna is using the message. Please tell Brenda. And what is the message? That I stay in the supermarket. You can tell the teacher to fail the model. No. En ese caso, Roberto sería. Eh, can you ask the teacher? Pero en sí no sé qué quería decir, Roberto. Una idea nada más, teacher. Pero ah. es como que tú reprobes nada más el, 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 el módulo, ¿verdad? Pero es, es algo por, por diversión ahorita. Yo sé que ah, lo pasé con 10. Entonces usted quería decir... Dígale a la maestra que mm -hmm. reprobé el módulo. Entonces, Correct. Sería, please tell the teacher, teacher mm -hmm. that I fail the módulo. Mm -hmm. That would be the correct form. Please ask Miley to send me the pizza. Ay, perdón, envié el mensaje a alguien más. Directo, en directo. Give me a moment. Okay. Good. Very good. So nice, nice example. Thank you for practicing. And now, guys, we are going to go over a listening practice. Are you ready? 
Are you ready for the listening practice? Yes, no. Ready. Yes, we're ready. <laughs> a little. Just a little. Okay. Um, in the PowerPoint presentation, you will see. Yeah, it's there. The listening. It's about I'm going to be late. So you will listen to four people leaving messages. Who is the message from? Who is it? Or what is the message? Complete the chart. Obviously, you will do it in your notebook, right? We have four listening, four people leaving a message. Okay. <laughs> Great example, Brenda. <laughs> Tell Roberto or ask Roberto not to worry because he will take the model again. Okay. Okay, Good. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so in the listening, you have to pay attention to who is leaving the message, who is the message for, and what is the message. Okay. Uh, so um maybe you can take a um, screenshot or you can copy quickly in your notebook. And let me know when you are ready, please. Ready to listen? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to share the audio, but please, I need that you pay attention and that you have your microphone off. So that doesn't interrupt uh, your classmates when they are listening. Mm -hmm. Exercise 11. Can you listen? Yes. Okay. Listening. Yes. I'm going to be late. Sorry. Late. Listen to four people leaving messages. Who is the message from? Who is it for? What is the message? Complete the chart. One. Hi, John. Where are you? Class is starting soon. I know. I missed the bus, so I'm going to be late. But we're giving our class presentation today. Don't worry. Did you tell the teacher that I'm going to be late? We can do our presentation at the end of class. Okay, but hurry up. Two. Hi, Samantha. Hi, William. Martin asked me to call him today, but he's not answering his phone. Is he in the office? Yes, but he's in an important meeting. Oh, well, when he's free, would you ask him to call me? Yes, of course. Thank you, William. 3. Hi, Ryan. Where are you? Hi, Amanda. We're on Main Street. We just passed the high school. The high school? Oh, you've gone too far. Sorry, Jennifer's never driven to your house before. No problem. Could you tell her to turn around and turn left on Summer Street? Okay, Amanda, no problem. See you soon. 4. Hi, Brittany. What's up? Hi, Brandon. I'm calling to see if you and Emily would like to come to our house for dinner tomorrow night. Thanks. I'd love to go, but Emily might be working late tomorrow. Well, when you see her, could you tell her that I invited you both? Sure. I hope we can come. Okay. So I guess that you need to listen again. Yes, I need to listen again. Again, please. please. <laughs> yes, please. Okay. 
do our presentation at the end of class. Excuse me. Okay. Message from. Who is it for? What is the message? Complete the chart. One. Hi, John. Where are you? Class is starting soon. I know. I missed the bus, so I'm going to be late. But we're giving our class presentation today. Don't worry. Did you tell the teacher that I'm going to be late? We can do our presentation at the end of class. Okay, but hurry up. Two. Hi, Samantha. Hi, William. Martin asked me to call him today, but he's not answering his phone. Is he in the office? Yes, but he's in an important meeting. Oh, well, when he's free, would you ask him to call me? Yes, of course. Thank you, William. Three. Hi, Ryan. Where are you? Hi, Amanda. We're on Main Street. We just passed the high school. The high school? Oh, you've gone too far. Sorry. Jennifer's never driven to your house before. No problem. Could you tell her to turn around and turn left on Summer Street? Okay, Amanda. No problem. See you soon. Four. Hi, Brittany. What's up? Hi, Brandon. I'm calling to see if you and Emily would like to come to our house for dinner tomorrow night. Thanks. I'd love to go, but Emily might be working late tomorrow. Well, when you see her, could you tell her that I invited you both? Sure. I hope we can come. Sorry? One more time? Yes, please. Okay. Page 104. Exercise 11. Listening. I'm going to be late. Listen to four people leaving messages. Who is the message from? Who is it for? What is the message? Complete the chart. 1. Hi, John. Where are you? Class is starting soon. I know. I missed the bus, so I'm going to be late. But we're giving our class presentation today. Don't worry. Did you tell the teacher that I'm going to be late? We can do our presentation at the end of class. Okay, but hurry up. Two. Hi, Samantha. Hi, William. Martin asked me to call him today, but he's not answering his phone. Is he in the office? Yes, but he's in an important meeting. Oh. Well, when he's free, would you ask him to call me? Yes, of course. Thank you, William. Three. Hi, Ryan. Where are you? Hi, Amanda. We're on Main Street. We just passed the high school. The high school? Oh, you've gone too far. Sorry. Jennifer's never driven to your house before. No problem. Could you tell her to turn around and turn left on Summer Street? Okay, Amanda, no problem. See you soon. 4. Hi, Brittany. What's up? Hi, Brandon. I'm calling to see if you and Emily would like to come to our house for dinner tomorrow night. Thanks. I'd love to go, but Emily might be working late tomorrow. Well, when you see her, could you tell her that I invited you both? Sure. I hope we can come. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so let's let's check. Okay. So the first in the first message, and the message is from John. John. Yes. And the message is to. The teacher. The teacher. Exactly. And the message is? Kevin. Mm -hmm. The teacher that I'm going to be late. Okay. Late Tell the teacher that class. I'm going to be late. The class. Why is he going to be late? Because he missed the bus. He missed the bus. Exactly. Okay. And the second. The second. 
Where the message is from? Samantha. 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 The message is to Martin. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Anna. Mark. <laughs> the message is to Mark. 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 Yes. I just could check Martin. <laughs> Martin is here in the class. <laughs> okay, so the message is for Mark. And what is the message? To give her a call back. In English. To give her a call back. Okay, to call her back. Mm -hmm. To call her. Okay. Number three. The caller or the message is from? Brian. Amanda. Amanda. It's from Amanda. Amanda. And it's for? Jennifer. Jennifer, exactly. And the message is? To tell her to turn um, around and then turn left on. for the summer street. Okay, yes. Yeah, so Jennifer is driving uh, to her house, to Amanda's house. And so she needs to turn around and turn left on summer street. That's what she asked her to do. Okay, and the last, in the last poll, mm -hmm. the message is from Brittany. Brittany. And the message is for Emily. Emily. And the message is Both. to tell her to that we are invited for dinner. Invited for dinner tomorrow night. Exactly, Margarita, yes. Emily is inviting both of them to come home for dinner tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It, he, she said, please tell her that I'm inviting both. Okay? So, very good, guys. How was the listening practice? Easy, difficult, more or less? More or less. <laughs> more or less. <laughs> okay. So maybe we can have more listening exercises, right? To practice yes. that skill. Good. So, well, it's nine, sorry, 8.58. It's time for the wrap up. So I need you to tell me, what did you learn today? Give me one example and tell me which was your favorite activity in the class. Yes. We learn it for the messages with the statements um, using tell and ask. Okay, giving message. Giving a message. The message could be a statement or it could be a request. If it's a statement, we use tell. For example, please tell her that I am inviting both for dinner. Okay, it's a statement. I use ask when it's a request or a favor. Please ask her to call or ask him to call me back or to send me a message. Okay, what, which was an activity you liked? The last one. The listening. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And Benjamin, okay, Benjamin asked uh, when, he, when you have to use not, when it's negative, you use first not and then to. Not to say, not to use, okay? Okay, for example, ask him not to not to send me a letter or ask her not to come, not to come to my house, okay? You are welcome, Benjamin. What do you need to practice more? Listening. Listening. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So guys, as you notice, we cover all the content 
of this course, but I would like you to tell me, uh, could you please tell me uh, what topic or what content would you like to review? Is there any content from the course that uh, you would like to review and we can review those ones during the next classes tomorrow, Thursday and Friday? If you don't know in this moment, you can uh, you can tell me by a message. Okay, you can say, oh, okay, teacher, I think I need to review the content of wood and wheel, for example. Or teacher, I would like to review the topic of um, I don't know. Uh, uh, present continuous and future. So think about it. Think, think about what was the more difficult topic for you. And based on that, I will uh, prepare the lessons for the next classes. Okay? If you don't remember in this moment, you can send me a message. I will appreciate it. So, well, guys, this was the class in the evening. Yeah, it's done. Have a great night. Rest Thank you. Good night, teacher. 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 Good Ana Marisol, Benjamín, Alejandro, ¿quién más? Claudia, sí, yo te entré un poquito tarde, estaba ocupado. Eh, voy, a, voy a decirles a ver si están. Claudia, Isel. Aquí estoy, teacher. I'm here. Ok, Claudia. Eh, Daniela Magali. Daniela Magali, no sé qué. Present. Ah, ahí está. Eh, Edgar Fernando, por ti. Elsie sí, Patricia de Jesús. Aquí presente. Eh, Janet Carolina. Yo creo que sí, ¿verdad? Sí se conectó Janet. Eh, y Karina Yasmín Nuila. No está. Ahí está Janet Carolina. Pero no me, no me contesta. <ríe> Karina Lucía Elena. Lucía Elena se habrá conectado. Lucía, yo la vi que estuvo participando o no. Yes, teacher. Sí estuvo, estuvo participando. Sí estuvo, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Okay. Sí, ahí ya la encontré que sí. Entonces, Lucía. Veamos quién más. Solamente... Creo que solamente Roberto Eduardo es familia, si se conectó. Ahí estamos. Gracias. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Oh, God bless night. you and have a nice night. Thank you, too. Ah, Janet tiene problemas. Okay.